I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. I was pretty wrapped up in growing heirloom tomatoes last summer, but I had great luck growing beans. And I wanted to share with you my experience with a couple of heirloom varieties I found at localharvest.org. The biggest surprise was one of them wasn't a bean at all. It was a pea. Take a look. <laughs> Late July, my creams shot upward. They were starved for sun in early summer due to the kaboka squash. They sent up long vines, which coiled up my tomato steaks after the tomatoes came out. By Labor Day, I had my first handful of pods to shell for fresh peas. I dried all the peas I harvested in August. The creams prospered in the record September heat wave. When I planted them, I thought I was planting beans. But by mid-September, when I was eating my first fresh, raw cow peas, <laughs> I realized they were peas. So now you can have peas all winter and peas all summer. <laughs> Incredibly, the creams were still going strong, blooming and setting pods, and pushing out new vines in mid-October. They'd been blooming since June, and started producing pods in July. I was harvesting a handful of pods every couple of days. However, leaves really started showing pest damage. I always say there's always something eating on something. So if you look at the back side of these leaves that don't look so good, there's a larva eating away. Here's another perfect example the leaf looks bad, there's usually a reason. Nymphs of leaf-footed bugs can't fly, so I just knocked these into a cup of soapy water. This is the outside of a cream's bean leaf. Doesn't look so good, so I took it off. And as I dropped it over, I dropped all this white powder because this is what's on the back. This is all white fly. This is the outpost. It's just these little sacks from where the bug emerges and these white hairs. But as you can see, this is a problem. So that's white fly. I'm not sure what else is going on there. Maybe rust. The little black specks are poop from some creature. Something's always eating on something. And the base of the plants had insect damage. All of these beans come from just one, two, three, four plants. So four seeds produced all of these. And here's a beautiful blossom. They start out orange, and then when they peel open, they're white with yellow. And the ants love them. But Sharon says, don't worry about the ants. These beans are tough. She also said, these peas adapt to environment over time. Ants carry aphids up to good food sources to farm them for their sugary excretions called honeydew. Maybe over time, these peas will adapt to repel ants. <laughs> the vines transported more than ants. This monarch caterpillar was looking for a good place for its chrysalis. We've got to go eat breakfast. Get on the fence. There you go. Okay, come on. Come on. There you go. Oh, shoot. You've got to hang on. Let's get it on the fence that's not slippery. Get on this one, because this is a tomato cage and I can leave it here all winter, if you like. Can you find any caterpillars? Big one! You gotta come see! Yeah. Right here? Yeah. I want it to get on the wire though, because... Why? Because the flower is going to drop off and make into a bean. See ya! See you, I'm, I'm trying, I'm walking like this, and not step on.
on the catapult. Now this is not the smartest decision because look. <laughs> Go the other way. Did you hear me? Go the other way. Just thinking. With lots of milkweed nearby, the creams had many monarch visitors. This wing looks broken. Yeah. It's probably not going to be able to fly. There we go. Hmm. Our first rain of the summer came on Halloween night. Next day, the plants looked reinvigorated and the peas were delicious. Now they're going to want to just ah pop out of there, so I got to be careful. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Mm. There's nothing I love more than standing in the garden eating fresh peas and corn. By mid November, the vines didn't have the vigor they did in October. I pulled out the vines late November. My old friend Dan in Tennessee grows creams and calls them great producers. Now the peas are small, so it takes a lot to make a mess, as we say in the South. So this year I'll be planting a lot more seeds. Sort of like a black eyed pea, but smaller, rounder, and no black eye. <laughs> Don't forget to save your seeds. What kind of beans do you like to grow? Please let me know. And while you're down there, leaving a comment, please subscribe. I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time. And while you're down there, please subscribe. See you next time.